Now, the last thing to do is to recognize that just because you have a sound type language, which means when you compile Elm, it will work. That doesn't mean <laughs> that it's correct. Correct means that your compile, compiled program, you're never gonna get null pointers here. You're never gonna get errors, right? And you, you, you're gonna get states that you can see which are great, you can type on those things. So you know if your form's in an invalid or valid state, but you're still gonna have bugs. <laughs> so let me show you what I mean. We have 32 here, right? Or let's say 82. And we type in cow, it's now in an invalid state. Watch what happens when I tab over to Celsius and try to fix it, 82. Well, Fahrenheit's still in an invalid state. So although Celsius is good, he's not gonna change Fahrenheit. And that's because when we go here, we don't say anything to Fahrenheit. So although we literally fix it, we fix the data because you type in Celsius, the Fahrenheit field state still considered invalid. So you have to swip that, flip that Boolean switch over here as well. So let's do it in both. If you're gonna fix the data yourself, right? You're gonna say Fahrenheit and Celsius, they're both our source of truth and they're good. Let's also say that the Celsius field's good because we're fixing to inject text in the Celsius field that corrects it and makes it legit. So we'll say Celsius field valid equals true. And we'll do the exact same thing here since Celsius is fixing it. We'll say Fahrenheit field valid equals true. And so we compile and we say 32, we say cow, we go over here and we say, no, it's actually 17. It'll fix the Fahrenheit and show it correctly. And so we don't have to say, oh, well, the user screwed it up. It's like, I know, but the user fixed it over here. <laughs> so now that we have two sources of truth, we have to keep track of all those Boolean values and flag values. And so just minor stuff, but just be aware that form validation for users is hard. Users in general are hard. This isn't an Elm thing or React thing or Angular or Vue.js or Svelte thing. It's just you have users that do crazy stuff. The good news is in Elm, you know if it's legit or not. And if it's not, then you know what to do. Say the field's invalid and show the user that it's not. But when it is legit, then you can correct all the data and you're, you feel confident in that. And that's great. Just don't forget to reset all the field validations when you have a, a valid form if they have dependencies on other fields. And these kind of booleans here kind of create this relationship. And so what you could do is make maybe one single, you know, the form itself is valid instead of having multiple booleans to keep track of. There's a variety of ways to, this is where, again, the experienced Elm devs like to think in types, right? And think that. But again, Elm gives you fearless for factor. And you've seen how many times I've screwed up in this video and the compiler helped me fix it. So you're more than welcome to screw this up, break it, create, you know, play with ideas on better types. And the compiler has your back.